I'm Scott. And I'm Ben. This is our problem. This is how we got our problem. First, we thought about some factors that could be in the problem. We said x minus 5, x minus 2, and x squared plus 4. The next step to get the problem is to multiply them all together using factoring. You multiply x plus 5 times x minus 2 first. And you get x squared minus 2x minus 5 plus 10. Then you multiply that times x squared plus 4 and you factor again. And then you get x to the 4 plus 4x squared minus 2x cubed minus 8x minus 5x cubed minus 20x plus 10x squared plus 40. Then you add like terms together and you get the answer x to the 4th minus 7x cubed plus 14x squared minus 28x plus 40. All right, and uh, here's our graph. You can see that it goes through the points 2 and 5. And those are also two of our answers. Our zeros are 5, 2, 2i, and negative 2i. Okay. But um, the negative 2i and the 2i don't show up on the graph because they're imaginary. To get the answers, you have to get the problem into factored form, x minus 5, x minus 2, and x squared plus 4. You set each equal to 0, x minus 5 equal to 0, you add 5 to both sides to get x minus 5. With x minus 2 equals to 0, you add 2 to both sides and you get x equals 2. For x squared plus 4, down here, the x squared plus 4 equals 0. You subtract 4 from both sides and you get x squared equals negative 4. You take a square root from both sides and you get x equals positive negative 2i. Thank you for watching.